Good morning, Vlogenstein. Hello. I wanted to give you guys an update. I see there's no freaking. Oh, there's a pocket. Look at the world's tiniest pocket. My phone is definitely going to fall out of there. It's okay. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on how this stuff is going. So, this is killing me that I only have three of these left. So, I can't refill the fourth one. They took Red Bull. They did yesterday. The. A woman driver took a Red Bull. She said, y'all are not about to stop me today. Um, so I'm going to rearrange these. So a bunch of pops have been taken at this point. I've been refilling them. These ones have all been taken. I bought a whole nother like, set. Love them. Yeah. And then I got the vanilla. -y. Somebody took the Gatorade yesterday. And then I got the vanilla ones yesterday or the other day. And this one has been getting taken as well. One Gatorade, zero waters which I think is funny. Um, they probably have water, so they don't want to take water. And then one pack of cashews. Nope, no cashews. One pack of peanuts. One pack of these maple pecans have gone. That's it, though. And then, I don't know, like three or four of these little beef jerkies and none of the little bags. And then we are out of Kit Kats. This is the last one. So they've taken, I don't know, five. Uh, we're also out of Reese's. This is the last one. Again, five, I think. And then we're now out of the regular Chex Mix. They have taken zero of the cheddar stuff and zero of the bugles. So let's rearrange them. And let's see what goes first. Godettos. Also, they've taken a bunch of the Oreos and they have taken a bunch of the Nutter Butters. They've taken none of the Chips Ahoy and that is because, as suspected, <laughs> Chips Ahoy suck. Those are like my least favorite ones. Uh, but yeah, they took all of the regular Cokes, one Coke Zero. They took a few of the Canada Dry like ginger ales as well. Sorry if it's not in focus. But that's that on that. My Instacart drivers have definitely um, been taking stuff. Like yesterday was a husband and wife. It, that's what it looked like at least. Like a husband and wife situation that dropped it off. They took some snacks and some drinks and stuff for each other. What is in here? Oh, this stupid thing. I kept touching my... I hate when the bras have like... Like divots. Like can you all get it together? Yeah. One job. Anyway, I have a nail appointment today. I'm going to refill this, probably blow dry my hair real quick, take the kids to school, and then nails. Nail time. Oh, actually, I have so much stuff to do in here, so I'm funny. We'll get to that later. Well, these are the microphones that my mom bought the other day that I was telling you guys about. Jaden went a little too hard in the paint with his Oculus last night. Looks like someone gave you a hickey, babe. What's that? Oh, gosh. Okay. Hello. <laughs> But change the thing. So you can connect it to your um, iPad phones, whatever. Really Hang on. And then it has different like voice. Hello. <laughs> well, don't put your whole mouth on it. Just talk towards it. Yeah. Not hey, hey. So I try to finish my hair before I left the house. Like the back is still like mildly wet, but y'all don't even see that usually. So um, first things first, we are going to go get the nails done today, right? So there's. I, I feel like they're still cute. She did a good job. I really like this shape because, I don't know, it just allows me, like, use of my fingers. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I can literally, they don't bother me the way, oh, I have a paper cut there. They don't bother me the way that the other shapes bother me. Dang, these kids are lucky I didn't walk over here this morning. Got the counter looking crazy, dog. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, in a wee bit of a rush. Dude, these kids. Like, I don't get it. I ask them all the time, like, do y'all want to live in filth? And they're like, no. I'm like, do you want to live in a house that looks like so-and-so's house? I was playing. <laughs> but the kids, are, they'll be like, no, we like having a clean house. <laughs> okay, if you like having a clean house, why am I looking at Frosted Flakes on the floor? Why are Frosted Flakes on the floor? Where do Frosted Flakes belong? Not on the floor. Not on the floor. That's what I know. Right now, it's a little problem. But the second somebody steps on it, it's a big problem. So fix it. Right? Okay, that's me parenting. I don't know if y'all caught that. It's not all teas and hugs over here, okay? <laughs> Kids be grinning on my last nerve. Speaking of, my leg. How do you how do you feel about these pants? This pant color? Cause I feel like it's it's something. <laughs> anyway, these are still those uh yoga pants. Now I gotta wedgie. 
These are still those yoga pants from uh, Airy, but I, I got them in brown. I thought I would, thought I would try it. I don't know how I feel about it, but. We're about to go. I just spent like 20 minutes looking at nail inspo and I have no idea what I want her to do, but it's fine. I'm going to make a coffee to go. And what was I going to say? Oh, I did end up trying that Catalina crunch mix. So the cookies I like, the mix I also like. Um, I tried the cheddar one last night. Why does this look like it has like syrup on it now? I tried the cheddar crunch mix and it was great. I just put it in a little like container or whatever and I sat upstairs and I was reading my little book and I was eating my little crunch and it was perfect. Um, I was reading Blitzed by Alexa Martin, which is like, okay, I thought it was the first book in the series because I already read the second one. No, it's the third book in the series. I ain't never reading the first one. <laughs> I think I read Bumbled and I want to say the first one was Intercepted. Now the third one is called Blitzed and I got to like chapter nine last night and then I just passed out, but I'll probably finish it like today or tomorrow or something. I don't know, famous last words, who knows? Who knows when I'll finish it. I'll probably get back into it today. It's not like an incredible book. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's like very much in your face, very obvious. You're, you know what's gonna happen pretty much like, they're not really playing coy. Like it's just one of those books where if you don't want to have to think at all <laughs> and you don't want to have to wonder and you just want the story laid out in front of you in a very easy format, it's one of those books. So there's nothing wrong with that personally, but it's not gonna have like a super long lasting impression. But anyway, I'm gonna make a quick coffee and then we're gonna head out. I am a sleepy girl, but I have some errands to run today. And I think we're gonna do the teacher gifts. I kept waiting, waiting, waiting for them to send out the list of the stuff that the teachers like, and they never did. And then my kids are like, hey, are we getting the teacher's gifts? And I was like, I'm waiting on y'all. Like, <laughs> give me the info. And they're like, we don't have it. And people are giving them gifts already. I was like, okay, bet. Yes, we're giving them gifts, I will go. So the kids like ran down the list of all the teachers they wanna buy stuff for. And this year it's only five, I think last year was more. So uh, this year it's five teachers, so I'm gonna go. And they're in the car like arguing like, I wanna give it to this teacher. Well, I wanna give it to this teacher. And then Jay's like, well, can we both give this teacher something? I said, it's all coming from me, okay? So no, the answer is no. How many teachers do you want me to get stuff for? It's not like I spent five dollars on them. How many? No, y'all better act right. <laughs> like, what, well, we all want, we all, we each want to be able to give them our own gift. Why? They know who it's from. They know y'all are poor. You don't have any money. And if you do, you're spending it on Roblox and freaking Oculus games. I don't know. These teachers don't care. They don't care who hands it to them. Get over yourselves. I see this. Let's make some cafecito and then. Blue could do, you can too. Woo! Did you guys see the thing with um Steve, like, but as a grown man, talking about why did everybody think I died? I got killed this way. I got killed that way. I got killed that way. He's like, blah, 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 whatever. But he's like talking, talking about Blue's Clues, and then he's talking about like Dora. I was cracking up when he was talking about Dora. Like she was a whole real person, though. Like, well, then Dora came in, and then this happened, and I'm like, dog, y'all like crazy. So, but anyway, have you seen the interview? I think I don't know when it came out. I think it was this month, but. Um, yeah, my boy Steve, Beluska do, we can too. All right, I'm leaving, I'm heading out. I got my nails did. I was like, I um, do whatever, you know? <laughs> she's like, well, I just got this. And I was like, cool, use that. And then she's like, whoa, and what color do you want it to go with? And I was like, how about, a, what did I say? I think I said like a berry color, like a pink berry. Isn't that a restaurant? Is that still around? Uh, so yeah, that's what she came up with. I'm happy, girly. And next time I'll do whites again because I'm nothing if not a white girl. <laughs> um, when it comes to my nails, I like little white, clear, little very light pinkies, nudes, perfection. Okay, I actually need to go to, you know what? Children, children, please. Um, I'm gonna go to Target. So we're gonna go to the one in North Aurora. I forgot my, um, I forgot my thing, y'all. I got some for you. Hey, babe. Hi. Here you Thank go, you, man. God bless you, man. Thank you very much. Yep. Are you, no, are you serious? I'm God bless you, man. Oh, Thank sorry. you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. 
Yo, why is this my life? I meant to put up the window in the back. I put, you no, know, you know what I mean. I'm downtown, whatever. There's always folks down here, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I meant to put up the window in the back. I meant to put up the window in the back because he, um, you know, this gentleman here and came to the front window. <laughs> he was saying thank you and I started putting up the front window. I was trying to put up the window in the back because it's cold outside and I accidentally grabbed the front window. I was like, oh my gosh, he's saying thanks and I'm literally rolling the window up like a jerk. What a jerk. Oh my gosh. Okay, well now that I feel like a tool for doing that, let's go ahead. <laughs> and go to Target. We're gonna go to Target and get the gifts for the kids. Teachers, which I think are just gonna be gift cards and candy this year. Um, they didn't send out like a specific list of needs for the classroom, so that's totally fine with me. Let's keep it easy peasy, let's keep it cute, and we will just give them gift cards specifically for whatever. I have a list of things that the teachers like, and then we're going to, I feel like we needed something else. Oh, we need boring stuff like milk. <laughs> um etc we really just need milk uh and eggs we need milk and eggs so we're gonna get some milk and eggs we're gonna go to oh, i'm gonna carry this embarrassment from accidentally rolling that window up all day like i hope that he didn't think that i was rolling it up on him because i didn't want to talk to him like the light had turned green but <sighs> lord you know put it put it in him so he knows and we all know that was not my intention i did not mean to roll up that window on that man that was my bad. Oopsie doopsie. Period. Exclamation point. Amen. Okay, so um, my coffee's still in here, probably cold as ice. Yep. Listening to Crying in H Mart story, which I had no idea what it was about, but it's about, I guess it's probably, I'm gonna assume the whole book is about her relationship with her family and her mom, um, but it's her relationship with her mom right now and her mom dying of cancer. So you know that her mom's gonna die of cancer like from the jump and she's kind of going back and forth like, you know, and she's just kind of telling the story of what happened, what went on, etc. So I'm digging it. So far I really like the writing, I like the pace, I like the story just as a whole and how it's going. So me gusta. And I'm gonna continue to listen to that today. I will probably finish it today because it's not a super long story. And I got mine through Libby. So I've been waiting for this book for like months. <laughs> so I am going to uh, finish listening to it before they yank it back, baby. We're about to go to Target. I'm not really in the mood to just shop for the sake of shopping. So I don't think we're gonna be picking up a bunch of nonsense that we don't need. But also I'm me, SV. And so it is kind of part of my DNA. There's always a bunch of homeless um, folks down here and I hate it. I hate, I hate homelessness all the time because it's a solvable problem. And, and I, and I hate that. It's always been, if there's any cause that I've always felt like compelled to help with, it's homelessness because it is quite literally a solvable problem. It's, this is not cancer. This is not childhood diseases. This is not you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a 100% solvable problem is homelessness in the United States, especially. We could fix this. So it, it, it's, it hurts me, I mean, to, especially in this area. So I'm in Aurora right now. And especially when I'm in Aurora, there are always homeless people all over the place. The Hesed House is nearby. Um, well, I'm driving further from it now, but it is nearby and that is our local homeless shelter. They do a phenomenal job with what they have. They do, I mean, they have wonderful resources. I've known people who've stayed at the Hesed House for long periods of time. Obviously we worked closely with them before and we maintain a relationship with them. Um, this year I really wanted to go to some of the events, but I was either out of town or I was sick when they were happening. Um, so I'm hoping in this new year, I will be able to attend and like get tables at different events and stuff that they put on, fundraisers. And um, it just, it bothers me so much because homelessness is truly such an easily solved problem. And if you live in an area that gets extremely cold, then you know how horrible it is. Like you know the feeling and you don't want to be out in the cold in the run from the store to your car and then for your car to heat up. like. 
let alone be someone who's walking the streets all day long, having to stay out in the cold. Like, and then hopefully, you know, you go and you, you get back to the shelter and you're able to go get your bed at night or whatever. They don't force anybody out when it's too cold outside. They have, and there are warming centers and stuff around here. Um, but it just, if I'm ever going to like tie myself to anything and do anything charitable and, um, we, we'd considered, I've talked to some people that have charities and we've considered that route in creating like something uh, like, like an actual charity, right? So some kind of foundation that, that, um, its purpose is to help homelessness and to help homeless people, uh, either in like a grander capacity or in a very local, localized kind of capacity. But I, we realized, and I say we, because it wasn't just me, but, um, we realized that it, it's more work than I can take on at this point in my life. And I'm better off helping a different organization that is doing it already. Do you know what I mean? So I really appreciate that the Hesed House does what they do. They're, it's just an incredible resource. I mean, if you ever wanted to support something locally, like in your, in the area or w in your area, you know what I mean? You didn't know where to start. I would say maybe look for a shelter and see what they're doing because Hesed House does incredible stuff for, they have people living there long term in a, like essentially an apartment. It's almost like a dorm room, picture it that way, which I think is so cool. Like that they said, you don't have a home we're going to create one and this is your home now this is not your temporary housing this is your home now you have a dorm here you guys have a community space now and it's it's kind of separate from um the other stuff and then they have you know obviously they have the shelter which is housing many 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 people they did really good things during covid like in in helping to reduce uh the exposure that the people at the shelter would have you know otherwise had staying in a place with hundreds of other people um everybody was like tented everybody had their own spots and then they also have a family shelter which is separate and that houses obviously people with kids and um it's it's incredible i love being up to date on what's happening there as far as like reading their newsletters and finding out you know who gets to hit the gong it's called the gong gong i believe <laughs> and you get to hit the gong when you are no longer homeless because you have uh, maybe gotten an apartment or something and they obviously go to great lengths to make sure that when you are moving out you have what you need and you and your family your kids etc and um they're very discreet there as well which i would assume most shelters are especially when it comes to the children so they're very discreet with like busing the kids and stuff like that so um you know they can kind of um you know because homelessness really strips you obviously of the security of having a place to stay but it can often strip you of your dignity obviously as adults we all have our our dignity you know um but as kids you feel that too and i can only imagine what kind of ridicule someone would be going through if you know everyone knew that they lived at the shelter like so i just think i think they do a phenomenal we started out originally doing like, the very first thing I ever did was those like blessings bags or whatever. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with doing them. Uh, but I realized that it wasn't the best use of my resources or my time. Uh, because, you know, sure, handing someone a bag full of like toiletries and maybe some snacks or something like that, um, that might be something that they need. It might also not be something that they need. Do you know what I mean? Because the shelter does provide a lot of stuff. And so I realized shortly thereafter, after doing these bags, I, we did all these bags and we gave them to all the different people like that we knew basically to keep in their car. And then when they would see someone who maybe needed one, they would take it out and give it to someone. But I remember that year, I ended up with like five extra bags because I didn't even need to give them away. And I was like, um, there's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be, uh, there's gotta be something else I could do. Um, so I don't, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Personally, myself, and I know some of my family members, we keep cash in the car purely for the sake of giving cash because that's typically what people need. It's not like it needs to be a ton of cash, um, but you know, it, that's usually what's gonna make someone's difference. It is not uncommon for me to see someone, especially young people, God, I hate seeing young people, seeing someone on the street during the winter and asking them how much would it cost to send you home whatever your home is, how much would it cost to get you off the street right now? And they'll tell you, 
you know what I'm saying? They'll tell you like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get $20. I need, you know, I need to go buy um, this thing or I, I'm, I'm just trying to get enough money to buy uh, some some food and I'm trying to get enough money to buy some some whatever it might be it's w whatever it is and they'll tell you how much money it costs to get them off the street and oftentimes it's less than you think because I have been like $40 here's $60 buy and they'll grab their stuff and go and will they go back to that corner maybe it's really none of my business but I just found that that was a better use of my money was um it was a better use of my money to literally just hand money money makes the world go round as I realized chapstick and socks apparently not quite as needed again I don't think blessing bags like are a bad thing but it was just clear to me like you know I, I toured the warehouse at the Hesed house and I saw not buckets but you know those like rolling those giant rolling bins the huge ones okay they were just buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets filled to the brim with socks brand new socks and I was like so y'all don't need socks. That's not what's on the list. So for our shelter, if you guys were like looking to help out your um, shelters or, you know, whatever, you can go online normally and they will have a list of like their most needed needs. In fact, I'm going to look up that list right now because I'm going to Target and I'm going to look it up. And oftentimes it'll be like cold medicine and, you know, men's razors and um, what it'll be like random things that you were never going to put in a in a bag. So again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I want to make it really clear, but I do think that if your your heart is telling you to help, that there might be a better, more direct way to help, whether it be cash in hand, because that person might not need, you know, um, a pair of gloves and chapstick and a pair of socks. They might need twenty dollars to go buy whatever. Everyone that's homeless is not jobless and addicted to drugs and alcohol. That's a common misconception. As a matter of fact, the mass majority of the people that were at that shelter at the time, like at the time that I was touring and I was like really getting information about them, had jobs and they were just struggling. You know, when you live paycheck to paycheck, you miss one paycheck, you're not living. You, you, you don't have what you had anymore because paycheck to paycheck means paycheck to paycheck. And if that next one don't come, then what you have, you don't have anymore. And it can be just that simple. So I think it's a very common misconception to be like, you know, because <laughs> I do hear people remark and say, well, don't give them cash. Don't give them that. They're human beings. Give them what they're asking for. Don't give them a Nutri-Grain bar and tell them, bless you. You know, may God bless you. Absolutely. May God bless you. But God bless me. And I want to bless you with what God blessed me already with. And that's cash. Okay, so I'm going to look up that list real quick. <clears throat> Books I would buy if I wasn't on a book buying band. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Heard very good things. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I heard very good things. Actually, I heard you're going to cry with that one, so I don't know. The Atlas Six. I've heard things, but I can't remember if they're good. Let's go around the outside part. Oh, The Light We Carry. I've heard very good things. Becoming. I've said very good things. Before I do, mur, mur, mur. Oh, let's see. What else we got? You guys really let me buy the wrong one next. Did you know that? I bought that one instead of this one. <laughs> like a jerk. What else would I buy if I was not a book buying band? Oh. Is this the inspo for that movie? I heard the movie's kind of dumb, but... Something from Tiffany's. Yep. It is the inspo for that movie. Maybe I'll watch the movie and then decide if I want to watch or read that. The shelves. <laughs> it's utter sadness. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Dark chocolate. Two of the teachers wanted dark chocolate. Three of them wanted Reese's. And I'm not seeing none. I'm not saying them. They're all empty. Mm. They might have to get the regular ones, not the festive ones. Guys, these shelves. Oh my gosh. They're like freaking empty. What about instead of Reese's cups, we just do a bunch of these? These are good. Don't most people like these? Oh my gosh. 
Don't worry, I'm buying that one. Okay, I'm done at Target, but now I don't know if they're gonna let me buy all this cold medicine. Like, isn't that a thing? Or is it just like the stuff that you use to make meth that you can't overbuy? I bought capsules. What do you make meth with? Robitussin? I mean, I'm gonna get a couple more Kit Kats for the delivery people. Um, I tried not to clear the shelves, but most of the shelves were already clear for the, um, and one more recess for the cold stuff. The shelves were pretty cleared off. I'll show you what I got. Done. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to go home. The fact that this was really kind of our first real Target trip. Where's the Target sign? That's the thumbnail. The fact that this was our first real Target trip though, and it's been a month. How dare we? I will be showing you a haul of this stuff when we get home. Um, <laughs> the girl checking me out was so funny. She was nice. Very nice. Hi. Could I get the turkey tom with um, lettuce added and no mayonnaise? It comes with mayo, lettuce, tomato. Oh, LOL. Okay, so no mayonnaise then? No mayonnaise, all right. And then could I get the jumbo pickle as well? How would you like that cut? Uh, into quarters? Yep. All right. And you, did you want to drink today? Uh, nope. That's it. All right. 924. Thank you. He told me I was stupid, but he did it gently. I like that. He's like, hey, stupid. It comes with that. Okay. <laughs> but does it come with turkey? <laughs> See, last time I came, it felt like a depression wrap, if you guys recall. Because it was an unwitch and it had nothing. I should have asked for like extra lettuce, but I don't like their shredded lettuce. I like their like big pieces of lettuce. Is that like a thing you can tell them? Like, hey, could you give me the unwitch but put it inside of bread? Man, that's not an unwitch, right? But I want the unwitch, but I want it inside of bread. I don't want your little stringy lettuce. Well, so you just want us to put let no. I don't want more lettuce. I don't want, uh -uh. I want an unwitch but put it in the bread. <laughs> That's what I want. Um, so obviously we're at Jimmy John's. I am a hungry, hungry gal. It's one o'clock. Wow, it's one o'clock. What did we do today? Went to Target. I did get all the teacher gifts. I got a bunch of stuff for um, the shelter too. So I'll show you guys. She and the girl, you're gonna see, right? I'll do a little overview of what I got. And the girl says, do you have like the world's sickest kid at home? And I was like, no. If my kid was this sick, they would probably be in the hospital. <laughs> she was like, oh. She's like, did you clear us out? And I was like, no. I didn't, I purposefully did not clear them out. But um, the cough and cold area, if normally we're at 100%, you know, filled, they were at like 12%. And I left them at like 7%. Um, they had nothing, nothing, nothing. Even the cough drop everything like there is oh my goodness there's just like nothing there so anyways i'm trying to eat this sandwich i'm liking crying in h mart i'm not exactly sure where it's gonna go from where we're at right now she's like becoming a rock star <laughs> so i'm sure that's probably not actually what happens unless she's like a famous rock star and i don't know who michelle's zoner is zoner meow Okay, I'm back home. Let me show you what I got. I got some of this Kevin cilantro lime chicken. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, it looks all right. I see it online all the time. So I was like, eh, I'm gonna try it. We got more of the chocolate Fairlife milk, which Jaden absolutely loves. What did we get? Oh, okay. I ended up getting little gift card holders. I normally don't, because I think like they're a waste, you know, because you're paying $4 just for a holder and what are they gonna do? Toss it, save it, I don't know, but. I ended up getting these for the teacher's gifts because I'm not gonna use bags, I think. I have bags, but they're kinda small. And then I got another case of the Starbucks drinks. I got these ones in vanilla. The ones I have right now are caramel. I'm gonna put these um, outside and you know for like the delivery driver table thing man somebody i finally posted it on instagram and somebody was so pressed 
by the fact that um, I made them a table or whatever, or I don't think it was against me specifically, it was just against the idea of like treating a delivery driver to anything. She left a comment talking about like, Ugh, they don't need this, they make money, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I didn't say anything. But then she started talking back to other people, talking about, they don't need this, they make enough money, they don't do it. And I never told nobody they need anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it, like, what kind of personality is it they can't just scroll by like, that's dumb, scroll. Uh, for the delivery driver, can you be Clark? Can you believe this? Scroll, like, why you gotta talk to people about it? I mean, I don't know if you need a friend or what. The gift cards, I'm gonna pair these up. The kids can do all that, write the names, yada yada, I'm not doing it. Look what I got, Jay. It's Kirby, but he looks like a Rastafarian Kirby who's kind of evil or something. I don't know if this is supposed to be the dude from um, uh, Princess and the Frog or what? <laughs> like, I don't know who he's supposed to be, but he looks like a little evil Rastafarian Kirby. Jay loves Kirby, that's why I got that. Nala broke her favorite Winky Lux lipstick and I felt bad that she broke it. I mean, I didn't feel that bad, but um, I was like, well, I'll go see if they have a sale. They had a little sale on them, so it's not a real lipstick, it's just a, it's a balm. It's like a tinted balm. So that's what this is. This is a tinted balm and then I, one of them is a sheer lipstick, but it's sheer, so no, she does not get to put serious color on her face. Um, so I got her these. One of them has a little cat on the inside, which I thought was really cute. And then this is like another tinted balm. So I got these for her. Did she need them? No. Speaking of things they didn't need, how cute. Look at this little hoodie. I love their faces. They look crazy. And then on the front. And I like it because it's not black. So I got this for Jay Don. Oh, and then, I mean, he's a big Kirby, Kirby fan. So I got him this little Kirby t-shirt too. A cucumber milk. Ew, imagine cucumber milk. <laughs> Strawberries, even though you saw about a whole thing yesterday, them things got torn up and they don't even taste that good. So I, if you cut it, they will eat them. And then I got these for the little table out front. I'm not gonna like fully replace everything because like I'm not gonna keep the table out forever. But um, I, I thought it'd be nice. And when I was checking out, she was like, well, I thought it'd be nice because someone clearly likes Kit Kats since they ate all of them and the Reese's Cups. And when I was checking out, she was like, are these for you? And I was like, no, you can go ahead and like put them in the bag or whatever. And she's like, oh, I was hoping they were for you. She said, people are out here doing all this shopping and they usually forget about themselves. Like, you know what? Maybe I want a little sweet treat. You know what I mean? And I was like, I do know what you mean, girl. But don't worry. I'm about to eat a pickle in a minute. Okay, so that was a rabble rouser of a phone call. So I got the cats some stuff. I just, I got them some treats, nothing super, you know, special. I have no idea if they'll eat that or not. Again, like Lewis is kind of their manager of food. Um, but shut the front door with these cat leggings. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> I only bought one pair because there's a very low likelihood that they're gonna actually put them on. And then I got them a little uh, Christmassy cat tunnel. So it's like a triple tunnel and you know, they can pop out of the center. So that'll be fun for a bit. Um, yeah, you know, we like to include the cats. They will probably get their gifts before Christmas because they're good, good babies, good little babies. We got some Tostitos. They had um, three or four of these. That's it, that was the whole egg selection. That was all of the eggs in the store. That was it. So I bought those because um, we needed some eggs. And then I got two bags of this dark chocolate Dove candy for the teachers. And then I got three of these little like triangular lint ones, whatever. And my plan is to just slap the gift card thing in front of it, tie a bow, call it a Dizay. I also have, I have a few bags here and they're all just full of, um, you know, like cough drops and Mucinex and uh, Advil and just as much as we could get. And we got a bunch of mini, um, like smaller toothpaste. They asked for those. And then they asked for this whole one that like there's a ton of mouthwash in this one. They asked for mouthwashes that are individual that they can just hand out to people. Um, so I try to do as many like uh, toothpaste and, and mouthwashes and stuff. It's really important that they be alcohol free mouthwash. You can't do like the regular regular Listerine or the green, um, like the scope version has alcohol in it. So just so you know, um, so you don't wanna do alcohol ones. 
They requested ibuprofen, so um, these ones are really affordable. This is like four bucks or three fifty or something for two hundred tabs. So I bought uh, I don't know how many. I tried to not entirely clear the shelf, like I said before. So there, there's some left, <laughs> but. Then they were, like I said, it was slim pickings on the cold medicine. Um, so I got a bunch of uh, mucinex and then I got a bunch of the um, Alka-Seltzer Pluses. I made sure not to take them all, but, oh, and then they asked, they were asking for Neosporin. So I bought a whole bunch of the, um, I just bought the Up and Up brand, but a bunch of antibiotic like cream, pain reliever cream. So, uh, and then there's a whole bunch of cough drops. I forgot what else they asked for. I think it was some other medicine or something. So I have those bags over there. I'm just gonna throw those all in a big bag. Um, I wonder if Lewis can just drop them off on his way to work one day. Probably not. <laughs> I'll probably have to take them. I don't think it is on his way to work now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, and then arguably what I would call the most exciting thing that I purchased today, is here. So first of all, I did buy a reusable cam, I mean a reusable, a disposable camera, and you guys did let me know that there was no real fixing the, the film situation from before when I messed it up and I, you know, rolled it in. Um, so I'm still gonna use that camera, but I like this one because it has a flash, and obviously it's a disposable camera, so it's just one-time use, so I wanna say it was like $15. I wanna use this during the holidays. I wish I would've had it for our Christmas party the other day, but I'm just excited to kind of get back into the nostalgia of actually printing photos. And the only reason I'm going this route at all is because I don't print photos. Yes, I could take them and print them, but I'm not going to. And when they're digital already, it's nothing really special to look at if you print it out. You know what I mean? So I just like the idea of it and I think I'll enjoy the, the, the process. It's worth the probably like $25 ultimately that it's gonna end up costing me to get a camera and print the photos. But Speaking of cameras and photos, Jaden has my Fujifilm Instax camera. So I gave it to him, I gifted it to him, and he has no more um, film for it. So I bought him three little things of film. Nala uses my little printers. I have a few of them. I have the Instax one. I have the HP Sprocket. I have two Sprockets. Um, obviously, like for work stuff, I had like acquired one or whatever. Like it's there are reasons that I end up with multiples of things. So she took a Sprocket. I have a Sprocket. Jaden has the Instax Mini, and that was mine. So he took that from me. So I ended up getting this one for Nala. It wasn't on her list or anything, but I really know that she's gonna love it. Um, the Sprocket, she prints things off that she already has, right? And you can do that. So if you wanna print off photos from your phone, you can get a Sprocket printer and it prints onto a sticker paper. They are wonderful, lovely, no ink, nothing like that. So they're really cool, they're great gifts if you're still looking, I know it's kind of late now, but if you're still looking, um, great gifts for other people for yourself, for people who like to use planners, for people who like to scrapbook, um, or just something fun that somebody probably wouldn't buy for themselves, but maybe you want a gift to them. So for that, you do not need a camera, You only need the refill packs and those ones are cheaper, the HP Sprocket, um, and you can print from your phone, okay? So you can print anything, filter it however you want, and then put it on the phone. This is the color I type, just kidding. This is <laughs> the Polaroid Go. So I bought this for Nala, and this prints Polaroid pictures, which are more squared off. These ones are rectangular. They're more square and then the Instax. So this is, you know, your classic kind of old school Polaroid camera, except this is a Go, so it's like a mini version. And I got this for Nala. And along with that, I got her two little things of film. And this film is more expensive than the Instax film, just FYI. This camera's 100 bucks, the film I think is 17, 18 bucks each. The Instax cameras you can get for like 60, 70 bucks and like on sale and the film is like 12, $13 each if you want special um, things around the side, but you can buy it online for even cheaper than that. So just know that the Polaroid one is a higher price tag, but it's also a bigger picture. So then enters this big boy. Big boy just entered the chat. This one, this is a classic old school like Polaroid camera, like an instant Polaroid camera and the picture is large, right? So these are, these are like actual size of what's gonna print out, okay? So it's obviously much bigger and I am dumb excited for this one. It has a filter kit, like it has lens covers or whatever. I bought a 40 pack of the film. Look how big they are. Like this is for real old school shaking like a Polaroid picture, okay? I bought this for myself. This was 120, no. 
I think maybe a hundred and I think it was a hundred and it was low hundreds. It was a hundred and something. Um, I don't remember exactly. This was also, this was like 60 bucks. So the, the Polaroids for this are not cheap by any means, which is why I did not buy this for a child. Um, because I know what I'm doing and I have my own money. And so if I want to get more, I'll get more, but I'm not gonna be wasting them like a child would. Right? So, um, I thought that was very exciting. <laughs> Some last minute little gifts that nobody asked for, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. And I think that you and I have probably spent a good amount of time together today. This vlog is probably already pretty long. So did I ever show you my nails? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Here they are. She did a really cute like little gold. And then I don't know if you can tell on the thumb, she put little like white stars all over it. They're so cute. I like them. I thought they were so cute. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Can you believe Vlogmas is like really like we're knocking at the end of Vlogmas? I simply cannot believe it. I will be editing today and tomorrow's videos after I'm done putting all this stuff away. And that's it. I think Jay's getting a haircut. I'm probably going to braid his hair. If I end up braiding it, I'll take a snippet and include it in tomorrow's vlog for you guys. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.